In this tutorial, I'm going to go a little more into uh, the shell feature and show a couple cases in which the shell feature will fail and what you can do to resolve that problem. I should note that the shell feature is actually just a shortcut for a more elaborate technique called offsetting faces uh, that has to do with uh, the surface features of SolidWorks. So shell doesn't work all the time, and when shell fails, you usually have to go and Take, uh, and make use of this more advanced feature that involves offsetting faces. Now, we haven't covered offsetting faces and surfaces in class yet, uh, so we're starting with shell, but that's just something to keep in mind. Okay, so uh, let's do a simple revolve to get started. I'm just going to draw a profile on my front plane here. And I'll draw the rotation axis. And then a spline for the profile. Okay, and I'm just going to adjust these spline points a bit. Let's say I did something like this. And maybe something like this down here. And then I use this to do my revolve. Okay, and you look at this and you think, well, there's really no reason this shouldn't work as a as a shell feature. You know, I can just uh, create a wall thickness there and hollow it out. So we try shell and give it a wall thickness of say three, and it says the shell operation failed to complete, and it gives this uh, explanation about um, faces being offset into each other or uh, radius of curvature not being small enough. So what that really means is that when internally SolidWorks is trying to use this face offset uh, technique to accomplish the shell, um, faces are either running into each other or it's losing um, small angles that, uh, that get absorbed by the thickness of the wall. So it actually gives you a, a diagnostic tool here. Um, after this fails, you can say check body faces for, for failing faces. And when you do this, well, there's only one face in this whole revolution, so this is the face that failed. Um, but this, what's useful is this, the minimum radius of curvature up here is zero millimeters. So why is that happening? Basically, and we'll have to go back to the revolve to look at this, but there's a little point here where the profile of the revolve isn't exactly perpendicular to the axis of the revolution. So let's cancel out of this and take another look back at our revolve sketch. This is what's happening. This profile curve is not hitting the axis of revolution at 90 degrees at a, at a perfect perpendicular angle. And it's creating this little point here. And that, unfortunately, is enough to throw off the whole shell operation. So the best way to solve this problem is to select the spline handle here that's associated with the, the, the point on the spline that connects with the axis of revolution and give it a horizontal relation. This way, the uh, the profile of the revolution has to come in exactly 90 degrees to the uh, revolve profile. So let's go ahead with that edit and try this um, the shell again. <coughs> okay, it failed again, and I'll bet it's because of the bottom part here. So let's see what it says. Yeah, again, uh, unfortunately it doesn't show you both of those uh, uh, at the same time on the first time around. But now we know that there's a problem down at this bottom part. And and what's going on down there is the uh th there's actually a little depression here. You can see that the um this angle is a little greater than 90 degrees. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give this a horizontal relation. And now, when we shell, it works. And again, just to, just to see the results of our shell, we can go to View, Display, Section View, and we see what happened there. 